In today's video, we're going to be using Python code to create ourselves a custom image to be displayed on our microbit LED screen. Now, for those of you that are unaware of what the LED screen is, it's this little 5x5 five five grid here you can see in the middle of the microbit. It's made up of individual LED lights, so there's 25 there in total. And as coders, we can program each of those individual lights to do different things. So the main things we can do is we can turn them on and off. Something else we can do, we can also adjust the brightness of each of those lights. The brightness runs on a scale from 0 to 9, where 0 is completely turned off and 9 is turned on at 100% brightness. And we can choose any number in between on that scale to adjust the intensity or the brightness of each of those lights. So we're going to see how that works today as we create ourselves a little flag. So a little flag is basically going to look like the Union Jack in the Australian flag or on the British flag. Once you've got the hang of making that flag, then you can go ahead and try and make your own custom image to display on your micro bit. Okay, so let's get started today by heading over to Mew, which is our Python editor, uh, making sure our mode is set to the BBC micro bit, and we can select a new file. Now from this new file, um, we will write our usual first line of code that says from micro bits, import star. So that's just saying, we are importing all the functions from the microbit library. So we've now got access to all the different functions inside of it. Once we've got that, we're going to create a variable. And it's going to be called flag, because remember I said we are creating a flag in this video. If you were creating another image, by all means, you could change that name, because this is a variable. You can name it whatever you want. Okay, but because we're making a flag, I want to keep it meaningful. And inside this flag, we're going to store the information um, that tells the micro bit how bright we want each of these lights. So what we do is we write flag equals and we write the word image with a capital I and we open up a bracket and then in quotation marks, I'm just going to write zero five times. That is the first row of LED lights on our micro bit. At the end, I'm going to put a colon and then I'm going to close off that quotation mark and I'm going to copy that little yellow section. So from quotation mark to quotation mark, highlight it and copy it by pressing Control C on your keyboard. You then need to go ahead and paste that in five more times straight below it. It's going to look like that when you're done. On that very last line, when you have finished copying and pasting them in, just close off your bracket. Okay. So what we've got there now is this flag variable holding all the information of those LED lights. And at the moment, because they're set to zero, that means every single light on our micro bit board is switched off. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is switch some lights on. And we're going to start by doing a cross that runs through the middle of our micro bit. So straight down from top to bottom and also straight through the middle there, left to right. And we're going to turn it to full intensity, so full brightness. And the way we do that is we change the middle zero here on this top line to the number nine. We go to all the zeros below that now and change them all to number nine. So what we've got there, I'll just zoom in a bit here so you can see this clearer. Straight down the middle here of our micro bit, we would have a red line appear. Because those lights would turn on while all the other ones stayed off. We're then going to go through this middle row here and change all those values to 9 as well. Okay, so it's a bit hard to see, but if you look at the 9s there, we're making a cross shape out of those 9s. That's the start of our union jack in our flag. Now the other things we need are the diagonals that go from corner to corner. We're not going to make them as bright as um, the cross through the middle. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it to basically half power. In the top left hand corner, change that zero to the number five. Then go down to the second row and the second zero and make that a number five. So it's basically diagonal, diagonally down from it. Okay, keep going down into the fourth row to the fourth zero and put a five. And then the very last zero, we make that a five as well. And that's making a diagonal line through the middle of our micro bit screen. We're going to do the same going the other way from the top right. We're going to start up the top right into a five, come diagonally down next to that number nine. We're going to put another five and then another five down here and another five down here. 
So I know it's a little bit hard to see, but what you've got there is a little union jack. You might be able to see it made out with the nines and the fives. It will look a little bit better when we actually put it onto our micro bit screen. Okay, so to actually put it onto your micro bit screen, we need to write one last line of code that says display.show. And in brackets, we're just going to write flag. Okay, so what we're saying here is on the micro bit screen, we're going to display this flag variable up here. And we know that the flag variable holds all that information. So that's done. Now it's time to test it. And before I send it over to the micro bit, I want to test it in the Grok, um, what do you call it, micro bit playground. So I'm going to highlight my code and copy it by pressing Control C. I'm going to go over to the internet, open up the micro bit playground and paste that code in. And I'm going to give it a run. When I run it, You'll see down the bottom here that you get a sort of Union Jack looking flag. Okay, you've got the really bright cross through the middle. And then around it, you've got those half powered lights that were set to five. The grey little lights that you see, they're the zeros that weren't even turned on to begin with. Okay, so that's how you create your own image using um, Python code. Now, there is another way to display this that doesn't take up as much room, which probably is a good option um, to do in future. This is just a nice way of setting out so you can see what's going on. But another way to write this is to bring it all onto one line. So I'm going to delete these quotation marks at the end of all these, except for this very last row. And I'm going to copy or cut actually. You don't even need the quotation marks at the start either. Let me just get rid of these. So that's what we should be looking like at the moment. And I'm going to cut that out and paste it up there. That little colon should have went with it. I'm going to cut this one out and paste it up there. Cut this one out, paste it up there. Cut this last one out and paste it up there. So now we've got that entire flag image all on one line. Okay, it looks a lot neater in our code now, doesn't it? So I'm going to copy that and just make sure that that still works as we come back over to the um, playground here. Let's paste that in and give it a run. And yeah, it still works. So you can display the image in either way. You can either have it all on one line like so, or you could have it, let me just undo this, split up over all these lines, which might be a good way to start um, when you're just learning how to program the LED screen. One more thing I might add in here is a couple of comments just for future reference. So I might put it up here actually on line two. I'm just going to say that I might do a few lines here. I'll just say that the numbers below stand for the brightness. I'll just write the LED brightness. And then we'll put another one in zero equals dimmest and then another comment that says nine equals brightest and that way when you come back to your code that will explain what's going on down here it's just for future reference okay so we've got that looking good what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save that and then I'm going to flash it across to my micro bit just to make sure that it works on my actual micro bit okay so I'm going to pause the video here and I'm going to come back um, to you in just a sec on my other camera. Alrighty, so I've got my um, micro bit plugged in via the USB cable. I'm just going to send my code from Mu across. This is a little lights flicker. And there you have it. We've got our little um, flag up on the micro bit screen. It's a little bit difficult to see. I'll just adjust this light, see if I can make it a bit better. Not great, but you can see that main cross running through the middle and the slightly dimmer lights around the outside. All right, so coming back to our code, that is how you create your own custom image using the little LED lights on your micro bit screen. Remember, there's two ways to set it out. Uh, whatever way you set it out is up to you. This is the beginner's way, which I think is fine for us, um, but you can always reduce it down to one line if you would like to. Make it a little bit nicer, I guess, um, in your coding. Other than that, um, I think we're all done. Make sure you try and create your own image now. Maybe you could try and create your own flag or maybe do a little animal or some sort of other shape. Um, and 
let me know how you go. I'll catch you in the next video.